it's a question of what you can afford to do and what you can lay out on the front end, okay? We chose that because we're space limited here on the front panel. Yeah, we could easily have done third octave. The circuitry is novel. There's a patent on it, actually. It uses a matrix switch as an element of the construction. Most equalizers at that time would have put separate pots behind each one. Well, the resistive element, it turns out, can be shared if the topology is right. So we created a new topology. And to make it more flexible, knowing that a half octave was not as resolving okay, as being third octave, we made each of the half octave folders in there tunable over a full octave. Well, when you can hit reality on the center is better than just having lots of filters to do it. So we actually felt that we were offering a very flexible solution to customers because we had tunable filters, i.e. it's crossed between a third octave filter set and a parametric equalizer. It's kind of a strange middle ground there. So we opted to go there, and thus what it is. The circuitry that's used in there is a circuit that when you change a simple rheostat to ground, the filter moves at constant bandwidth. The bandwidth is invariant to that, but the center frequency tones, okay? That's, that's a quirk of that particular topology. And it's used in there and it's used with purpose, okay? And you see gold contacts, the mechanism is all custom. We tooled up all the sliders that are used in there and the circuit board behind. It's all custom. You'll notice that it's got a separate set of EQ features here, shelving EQ. We recognize that most systems, you're really wasting a whole bunch of filters. If you use a whole group of filters to create a shelf, why not you just put in a shelving okay, as a separate feature? and start doing your higher Q tuning with these once the shelving is done. Okay, so that's kind of novel too. You know, to see those two forms of equalizers cascaded in the same box, which is what we're doing there. So it was really a different look, you know, at equalizers and what we thought that people actually needed to tune. <laughs> it's different.